Hello and welcome. Today we're working on straight line depreciation and contrasting it with the maker's method of depreciation. If you're new, my name is Jeff. I'm at Finally Learn where we're teaching the financial accounting chapters. So we're in chapter nine right now with accounting for long-term assets. So let's get started. What is straight line? Well, straight line is the, the basic depreciation method that you should know. It's cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life and that's the same each year, assuming a full year. Well, makers is the tax method. It approximates double declining balance. It builds in an assumption of the half-year convention, and the half-year convention is a fancy way of saying we assume that the first year is only six months. So on a calendar year, let's assume that you purchase uh, the asset on uh, June 30th or July 1st, and you get six full months. So the half year convention is the first year is only six months or a half a year. It adds up to be 100% and the IRS provides the table. So I've provided here the three year, the five year, and the seven year. There are other uh, years with makers, but you'll see that they give the exact percentage and that exact percentage adds up to 100%. So for a three year asset, you don't do it over three years, you do it over three and a half. So that first year is a half year, the last year is a half year. So it's over four years. So a five-year asset is over six years. So it is a half year, four full years, and then uh, the final year is a half year. So let's do a little problem for straight line and makers. So let's assume that the cost is 800,000, the life is five years. Now, with makers, you have to fit in their categories. You can't have a six-year asset. You have to have a three-year or a five-year or seven-year. And the, um, the tax code and the IRS regulations specify each asset is at three years, five years, seven. So even though we purchased on April 1st, we're going to assume the half-year convention. So what do we do with straight-line depreciation? Now we're going ahead and assuming no salvage value. Makers, if you built makers, then you assume no salvage value. So we're going to do that with our straight line method. So it's just going to be our cost divided by the useful life. There's no salvage value. You can subtract out zero if you want to. I'm not going to judge you if you do that, but all you need to do is take 800,000 divided by five. So that's the first year, except we're going to assume the half year convention. So we need to divide this by two. So it's going to be 80,000, and then from then on, it's going to be 800,000 divided by 5, 160,000, and we'll make that for the next, uh, for the four years. And then the very last year is going to be a half year again, so we'll take the 160,000 divided by 2, so a half year. So let's add up, let's do a sum and the sum should equal 800,000. All right, so our depreciation expense under straight line is 160,000 is for a full year and for a half year, which is, you know, 2025 and 2030, the last, the beginning and the last year, uh, it's gonna be a half year. So what do we do for makers? Makers is even simpler. We're gonna take the 800,000, I'm gonna make it absolute with dollar signs because we always wanna point to the 800,000 and then multiply it times 20%. So 20% is gonna be the 160,000. It's double, essentially, the straight line rate because it approximates double declining balance. And then we can copy this down. Let's copy it down just for one year and just compare, make sure everything's working correctly. We should be able to take the 800,000 times, in this one, we should take the 800,000 times the 32%. And if we copy this all the way down, then we have the very last one should be times 5.76%, 800,000 times 5.76%. If we add it up, we can do the sum, or I use a keyboard shortcut, and 800,000 is our maker's depreciation. And you'll see maker's goes much faster than straight line so our tax method, we build in a, an accelerated method that approximates double declining balance, and it's called MAKERS. MAKERS stands for Modified 
Accelerated Cost Recovery System, which we call just makers. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.